evening and welcome, fellow babies. We got an impromptu rant with Dick Dawson here on the iNetwork. And tonight, we're covering this fucking piece of shit, Robert Beatty. Now, Robert Beatty just put up a little post on his website. Well, a mess of shit, whatever you want to call it here. Let me bring it up here. And it's going on about David Michael Fulton, somebody we all know and love, the Bullinator. Now, you can set, you can check out the beginning of this guy's post, like the first two seconds here, and we're going to look at it quick. And you can tell what this vile, disgusting, balloon not sucking fucking maggot is doing is he's using this as a way to continue his fight with Steve McRae for whatever fucking reason they got. You're a disgusting piece of shit, you motherfucker, and I hope you fucking rot in hell for your goddamn useless behavior. Fuck you. Now let's get into it. So as you can see right here, well, here, let me bring this up a little bit bigger for everybody. Okay, so as you can see right here, it starts with, it was variously reported in social media, blah, blah, Bullinator passed away. Yeah, we all know that, asshole. For reasons unknown, what normally might have been expected to have yet been reported, uh, no, that's complete bullshit. So many times people pass and we just get a lovely fucking obituary and that's that. There's no, it has to be reported. Don't sob sit on me already, you fucking asshole. Um, so he's, you know, right away you can see that he's laying the foundation here. This is agenda-filled nonsense and the narrative is strong with this one. So he goes on, unconfirmed details indicate he was a disabled veteran. Unconfirmed, all he had to do was actually reach out to somebody and holy fuck, we'll get to that too, you fucking asshole. But it's blah, blah, it's blah, blah, and it's blah, blah. Now, as soon as we get past the blah, 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 we get into what's really going on here. So... Big telling line right here. All things considered, it is not unreasonable to suspect David's death might have been the result of suicide. Hold on right there. Where the fuck does that come from? Let's go back to the blah, blah, blah. He recently withdrew from social media in his farewell, indicating he may have problems with depression or other mental issues. Why? Because he didn't want to deal with fucking assholes like you? Are you kidding me? It's fucking parasites like you that do this fucking shit. You got nothing in your life except to extend a hate-filled rage against somebody that you don't even fucking know, asshole. And now you're pulling this? Fuck you. He was well-known by social media community, in quotes. Ah, fuck you, whatever. He was associated with uh, various productions on YouTube broadcasts. Yeah, okay. So, now... In questioning the facts of the case, you don't know any facts because all you did was pull up a fucking tweet or two and a goddamn obituary from the fucking newspaper. Again, you haven't reached out to anyone and even tried to ascertain fuck all. You're being a cocksucker. He goes on here. Uh, uh, I, Rob, in, in questioning the facts, I, Robert Beatty, and others became targets of the Steve McRae community via various Twitter accounts in addition to a number of YouTube videos. Wait, you haven't tried to get to the bottom of things. What you're doing is trying to put your own goddamn bullshit into a situation that you're not a part of. Don't you get it? Nobody wants your fucking voice in this. Shut up. Now, many, if not most of these creepy individuals, they're not creepy, you stupid fuck. They're raging out like I am because you're a disgusting piece of shit walking the earth like a pretend human being. And he goes on and on because they hide behind anonymous account names such as Glober Mom and blah, blah, blah. Really, did you think Twiggy was her fucking name? Do you think he was born Sting? Do you think PewDiePie's mom calls him PewDiePie? You've got to be the dumbest fuck that ever walked the earth. God damn it. Now we get into where the narrative really takes off. And this Robert Beatty shows who he truly fucking is. I got, this is his words, I got the distinct impression that David's creepy and profane online community associated with, again, Steve McRae, was more of a problem for him given his physical and mental issues, which you know fucking nothing about. You just said you weren't even sure because you didn't even speak to one fucking person. 
If you actually wanted truth, you would have spoke to people, but you didn't. You wanted to put out this goddamn garbage so that you could point the finger at people and go, look, see, I was right all along. You were a disgusting human being. The only microphone you should ever be allowed to speak through is my fucking cock. And then he goes on here more. Are they trying to cover up for their suspected part in his possible suicide? That's it. You should be locked up, you human piece of shit. Anybody who could fucking publish garbage like this just so they can further their attack on one specific person is the worst, vile, p. You remind me of the fucking disgusting th- shit that came out of the back of my sick dog last week, you fuck. Now, here we get back to the real point of this post, his attack on Steve McRae. In publicly attempting to discuss the matter online, no, in publicly attempting to point the finger and instigate, let's at least be honest about what you're doing here, you fucking prick. Steve himself responded to something I posted as shown below. His Twitter account, more examples of such things will be added. So here, let me zoom this in. Because he doesn't know how to post so anybody can even read his fucking drivel. Now look at this. When I zoom it in, I can barely even fucking read it. God damn it, this fucking asshole. Um, But it's, you know, blah, blah, back and forth between him and Steve. Uh, Steve responds to uh, Jeff Breeze. That's godless scummer. We all know and love Jeff. Uh, Earned a trip to hell, I hope. I may become a theist just to hope to God there's a special place for in hell for him and those like him. Oh, Steve, I couldn't agree more, buddy. Um, More recently in Steve's Twitter feed, there was this one from the creepy and anonymous and profane members of his community. Holy shit and blah, blah. And what he does is he goes on and on to show that the behavior of Bull's friends in attacking this human piece of shit for he insinuating any of this stuff, let alone for sticking his nose in what had nothing to do with him. They're attacking him just like I am because right now I want to stick my foot so far up his fucking ass I'd kick his teeth out of his fucking mouth. No, it keeps going. Uh, Turquoise Laura gets in. Pray tell what the actual fuck do you think you deserve to know? You fool. You disres- you're disrespectful and you're irrelevant. So why on earth do you think you have the right to know the exact details of his death? Thank you, Turquoise Laura. Exactly. Somebody's got to tell this fuck. And Ozzy Baller and uh, Christian there is in. Mother of Dragons. Like, you know, a whole bunch of people that I know and recognize right away. So now he comes up with his fucking update. Among other problems, yeah, that you're creating. God damn it. Stick your fucking head up your ass until it smells like shit, you fucking asshole. The the hypocrisy of Steve McCree. Yeah, right. Steve's a real hypocrite. And his creepy community is all the more evident after consideration of the following. Offense is a them problem. Not a me problem, uh, them problem, sorry. If someone is offended by my Twitter, they might not want to be following me. If they do follow me, then they can't bitch about being offended. Well, that's 100% right. He has every right to speak his mind just as you have every right to be the sorry-ass piece of shit that you're being right now. And then there's a time mark link into a broadcast which he, David Fulton, bullionator, speaks of his autism. Now, this is why I'm doing this fucking response to your goddamn sorry ass right now. I swear to God, motherfucker, you're the kind of guy that sees a squirrel roadkill on the side of the side of the road and goes, oh, look, fresh condom. Fuck, I can't stand you. Uh, but David was on our channel uh, and, you know, with myself and Amy Hogan, we, we were doing a show called Autism. And now he's linking to our content as a way of referring to, yes, David's autistic. And, you know, with all these other bad people he was hanging around and stuff, it looks like, you know, uh, blah, blah. I'm not even going to give it lip service because right now the only lip service should be you on my dick, you unholy piece of shit. But uh, at this point, I've had a fuck enough. Um, Everybody should make sure that, uh, you know, if you see this guy's name anywhere, you avoid it at all costs. Um, You know, head over to his YouTube channel if he's got one and let him know that he's a sorry ass sack of shit. And uh, remember, buddy, if you ever got something to say and you actually think you're going to fucking back it up, you know where to find me right here on the iNetwork. Dick Dawson. Come and find me and we'll have a little talk and we'll see how fucking cool you really are, asshole. Good night, fellow babies. I'm out of here.